Reminds me of the Rockies. By the way, they're playing tonight. Go Rockies. That's right. Hey, you recognize that living room? Uh-huh. Wh which living room is I'm it? I'm thinking Married with Children. It's No, Roseanne, it's not right? Married with Children. Oh, sorry. Is it Roseanne? It's Roseanne. Yeah. We're talking about the most famous living rooms in TV history. That is indeed Roseanne Dan's humble abode. Now we want to see your living room, and we're coming to your house every Friday in May. Here's the deal. We're taking our show on the road. We want to broadcast the whole hour from your living room. Yes, we'll snoop through the fridge. Uh -huh. Yes, we'll likely root through your drawers and look for stuff. <laughs> yes. Right? But it'll be a lot of fun. But it'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. We'll ask to borrow money. <laughs> All you got to do is submit your name, address, and a picture of your living room, and no joke, we'll invite your friends over, we'll cater the whole thing, we'll broadcast from your house. I'm awesome. so excited for this. We're going to borrow our producer's Winnebago fans. and everything. That's right, that's our producer's <laughs> Winnebago. We're going to take the show on the road. Okay. Yesterday, you guys did your uh, uh, karaoke. Yeah, we still are trying to figure out how to get you back, by the way. Well, it was not bad singing, I have to say. So why don't we try to Thank top you. it right now okay. with a little bit of, ready? What? Never gonna get it, 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 never get it. I'm not good at that one. The real gal should sing it. Go ahead, ladies. There you go, Crystal. That's the added touch. Ow! R&B legends in vogue heading to Denver this summer. They'll take to the stage over at Civic Center Park on June 20th at 3 p.m. You are going to get it. The show is free. It's all part of Denver's Pride Fest. Channel 2 is a proud sponsor, uh, so it'll be a lot of fun this summer. Yeah, I didn't know they were still together. I don't think they've recorded much lately, but hey, we're happy to have them back. Hey, you know my new pickup line when I go out to the bars? Do I want to know? This one works every time. Uh -huh. And baby, you want to <laughs> eulogize me? Come on. Come on. Eulogize yeah, me, it, sweet it's cheeks. It's working for you. Uh -huh. Don't is make it? that face. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. Well, here's the deal. I was out in L.A. for the movie Death at a Funeral. We got the Colorado exclusive and sat down with Tracy Morgan, Danny Glover, and, of course, the producer and star Chris Rock. In the movie, Chris gives a big eulogy for his dad. So I thought I'd use my line on him. Hey, uh -huh. how about it, Chris? Can you eulogize me? Uh, we're here today for the uh, funeral and of uh, Chris. He was a fine journalist and part-time transvestite. <laughs> uh, Your father fell out of his coffin like a dead fish. It's, it's like, like he's known me my whole life. Oh, that's Curse funny. you, Chris Rock. By the way, Death at a Funeral opens Friday. It's a very funny film, and tomorrow we're going to talk to Danny Glover. No joke, Danny tells me what he does every day, and it's almost too racy for television. Really? Yeah, but we're still going to air it. Why not? Okay, yeah, huh? let's do it. Danny Glover tomorrow on the show. Meantime, let's head out to uh, TMZ. My friends out there in Hollywood, have we asked them what they do every day? Dax, have I asked you this before? We know you use hair product every day. That's obvious, right? <laughs> and that. tanning lotion. And tanning lotion. <laughs> uh, so you want to know what I do every day? Yeah, what do you do? What's a habit or something you do every day? I spend about three hours in traffic every day. Oh, oh welcome to L.A., right? Yeah, it pretty much sucks an hour to get here and about two hours to get home. Oh, Jeez. Well, we're glad yeah. you do it because we love watching your stuff. And you got some big news for us. Uh, this Tiger Woods marriage, kaput. Is that right? Well, I don't know about that, but uh, what we are reporting is that uh, that house that Elon bought over in Sweden, uh, you know, she bought it back in December, I think. We broke the news back then, and it's its, it's its own little, like, island. She's got a bunch of little houses on it, but they were all so run down. We're like, there's no way that she could possibly live in this place, and now they are revamping the whole thing. Uh, they're remodeling. They've ripped up the floors, the walls. They're totally gutting it, and we've got all these pictures of the house being redone, and so we're being told that they want to have it done by the beginning of summer, so I don't know if she's planning on heading out there with the children or what the deal is, but uh, they want to make this house li livable. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, we'll doesn't sound good anyway, but keep us posted, would you? Other big story, uh, of course, is we're talking about Jay Leno, and uh, he's losing his musical director, but he's picked a new one. Yeah, so Kevin Eubanks had uh, announced that he was going to be leaving at the end of May, and now we know that uh, Ricky Minor, who is the music director for American Idol, he's worked with a bunch of huge people, Beyonce, and Whitney Houston, Christina Aguilera, he did the music directing for uh, the Grammys and the Super Bowl. He's a really w well known dude. He's going to be taking over Kevin Eubanks' spot over at The Tonight Show, which is a pretty big deal for him to have that nightly gig. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to see how that all goes. I heard, he's, I heard he just has like an amazing personality, very funny, and he'll fit in great there.
That's good stuff. All right, Dax, always great to see you, my friend. Take it easy. Thank you. Enjoy that five-hour commute home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> see you later. All right, we heard early that Natalie likes Shrek. Mm -hmm. Now she's worried that Shrek is showing too much green. <laughs> you may be the right. Racy Shrek. Here's the thing. There is a new racy photo spread. This is not a joke. It's the real deal. Shrek and his friends in a bizarre photo spread for a men's magazine called V-Men. There you see the donkey <laughs> saddled up next to a girl With in a bustier. Big smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now the next one, of course, we've got uh, Fiona there. Well, a couple of dudes wrestle behind her. Now, the movie studio claims they thought that the magazine was going to be respectful in the way they portrayed these characters. Uh -huh. They're upset at the way it all came out. Look at Puss in Boots. Oh. Getting oh, fed grapes yeah. by a guy with no shirt. Happy. My favorite character. What's the deal Puss with all this? I don't know. Tell us. All of a sudden, Jessica Rabbit <laughs> is looking like the goody two-shoes of right. the bunch. <laughs> yeah. Well, either way, the magazine Wait, comes I out. I still haven't seen Shrek himself. He's not oh, in these? No, Shrek is in there, but well, it's too racy to show. We can't so. show you. Okay. He's completely green. <laughs> so there you have it. The magazine comes out this weekend. Uh, give it a look, see if you dare, huh? Yeah. How about that one? <laughs> okay, let's move on, shall we? Yeah, let's do Spirit, Spirit Figures. <laughs> Jazz I re hands. Recorded this, I'm but didn't enough. get to see it. Last night was the spring premiere of Glee, and I'm telling you, my worlds have finally come together. Glee. <laughs> And Madonna. <laughs> How about it? That's Jane Lynch doing her best Madonna. I love Jane Lynch. I would drink that woman's <laughs> bath water. Oh, I would. I don't need to know what? That. I would. Oh, it's a term of endearment. <laughs> Anyway, would you drink boy, you're a tough bath crowd water? today. <laughs> would you drink our bath water? No, I wouldn't drink your bath water. Anyway, the, the show's <laughs> ratings aren't out yet, but experts think it's going to be the most highly rated Glee yet. There's no shame in drinking her bath water. She's a great actress. Yeah, I was watching Idol last night, and the cast of Glee was on there, and they were right behind Simon, Jane Lynch, and the main guy, Kent. Matthew Morrison. Yes. Yeah. So you could just see their heads the whole time. They're smiling. They're great, great people, and the show's awesome. It is a good Yesterday, show. you guys did such a great job with your karaoke. Thank you. Doing your whole, uh, Thank you. uh, what was it? Wham. Yeah. Wake Jitterbug. me up before you. The so it's yeah. now launched a whole trend. Everybody's doing what you guys did yesterday. <laughs> really? You don't really? believe I'm me? Look, look at this. You're a trendsetter. Uh -huh. Even Shaq. <laughs> hey, that's pretty Girl. funny. Look, he's getting into it. <laughs> the guy has his own puppets. That's what we need in puppets. Yeah. How about it? He was live on Ustream yesterday doing the popular 80s song along with his puppets. Some say he's lost his mind. I say the guy just happened to see our show and got a good idea and ran with it. I think you're right. what the words are. No, he doesn't. Blah, blah, blah. Just go watermelon, watermelon. You can be our puppet. Oh, I'll be your puppet anytime. <laughs> That's a song, isn't it? Drink your bath water. Yeah. <laughs> There's your dish for this morning. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, thank you. Lots of people.